it's Matt. I'm out here in the wetlands photographing some waterfowl and songbirds and other wildlife, uh, but I also wanted to make a, a tip video. Normally when I give photo tips, I just sort of like to discuss my process, you know, rather than trying to dictate how I think you should take pictures. Uh, but the number one topic I get asked about is camera gear. And I think I know why that is. Uh, camera gear is really expensive and we can't afford to waste our money on something that might be the wrong thing or that we don't like. Um, so I racked my brain and I did think of one camera gear tip that has made a huge impact on my photography and that I wish I'd known about like 10 years ago. So today I'm going to give you my number one camera gear tip. The camera I'm shooting with today is a Canon EOS 7D. It's a high frame rate crop sensor. DSLR with a really good subject tracking autofocus system and a really rugged weather sealed body so it's sort of specialized towards um, action, sports, and wildlife shooting in the outdoor environment. But uh, the tip I'm going to give you today is not about this particular camera. It's going to be how I got this nice professional camera for less than half the cost of an entry level plastic Walmart DSLR by buying it used. So while I'm out shooting today, I'm going to tell you about my experiences with this used camera over the last couple years. I'm going to tell you three reasons why you should be thinking about getting used camera gear. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the retailer that I got this camera from, the Used Photo Pro. And when you're tired of looking at my face and you want to see what Used Photo Pro has to offer, you can use the link that accompanies this video to give me some recognition for giving you this advice and sending you their way. You know, I remember the first time I tried to take wildlife photos like this with my plastic DSLR and it's such a frustrating experience. You, I got the animal lined up right in that tiny little viewfinder and I finally got it to focus on it and I go to hit the shutter and it goes click, 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 click. Uh, just totally missed the shots and then of course as soon as the animal walked away it didn't maintain focus on the animal. So I was able to uh, relieve a lot of frustrations by uh, by getting a more specialized wildlife camera and that's my first reason that you might consider getting a used camera is as a camera upgrade so whatever your use case is if you want to maybe try a full frame camera because you like portraits and you want that shallower depth of field maybe you want something more uh, video oriented or you know maybe you just want a more rugged uh, body whatever the reason is uh, i think you can skip several steps in the camera upgrade chain and save a lot of money by just going straight to a nicer used body like this one the rapid pace of technology change has put this camera that was taking national geographic cover photos just five years ago in my hands you know whatever your use case is there's an attainable used camera that's available for you you don't have to save up years to buy it you can start getting creative with that equipment right The second reason to go used camera shopping is to get a second camera. So this might be a camera for your kids or for your boyfriend so he quits taking yours, but I also find that it's uh, very useful for professional working photographers to have a second camera. If you're a pro photographer, you probably wanted to have a backup camera to have just in case your camera fails on the job. Um, I got this just before I went to cover an event and I thought it would just be a good peace of mind, but it did not just sit in the trunk of my car. Uh, because it has different features and a different field of view than my primary camera. I actually uh, got extensive use out of it uh, with a prime lens on. I carried it around the event with my primary camera and was able to get uh, shots from my client that I wouldn't have gotten with just one camera. You may not have noticed, but this is not the used camera I've been talking to you about. This is my normal full frame camera and having it along with the second camera is letting me get the more uh, wider environmental type of uh, wildlife shots that I'm a little more known for. and. Uh, so the, the used camera is actually filming me right now. And you also might not have noticed this, but uh, in this shot I'm not holding any prop camera. That's because I have both of my cameras filming me to sort of break up the monotony of this long talking segment. So having two cameras is really helpful.
before I tell you about the third reason I think you should be uh, shopping for used camera gear, I'll tell you a little bit about Used Photo Pro, which is the company that I bought this camera from two years ago. Uh, they're an awesome brick and mortar based right out of Indianapolis, so the money you spend there stays here in the Midwest. They've got an awesome service department. They're skilled technicians. They look over uh, this camera and every camera they sell and service it before they sell it to you. Uh, this came with a 180 day warranty, which was plenty of time for me to put it through its paces and build confidence in it. And they also have an awesome website, usedphotopro.com, where you can reserve your unique piece of gear and uh, just give them a call and pick it up right in Indianapolis. And I recommend shopping that way because then you can use the link below this video to make sure that I get a small commission on the gear that I sell for offering you this advice, sending you their way, and it's no extra cost to you. That brings me to my last reason to shop for a used camera, which is as a first camera. So yes, a new camera comes with a warranty, but uh, I find you're much more likely to drop, smash, crack, splash, or otherwise break your new camera than for it to randomly fail for some reason that would be covered under the warranty. And you know, unfortunately, the sad truth is a lot of first cameras end up in a closet somewhere. And I think that's just because those entry level cameras are so frustrating to use and so slow, like we talked about. So I'm not saying there's never a reason to buy a new camera, but as, especially as your first camera, uh, my recommendation is that you're better off to get a nicer used camera that you'll enjoy using and are more likely to use and also spend less money on it. So I hope you found my experiences helpful. I certainly wish I'd known some of this 10 years ago, uh, three cameras into my upgrade path. And I highly recommend uh, used Photo Pro when you go to make your used camera equipment purchase. Don't go to the Facebook Marketplace or the pawn shop. Get your used equipment from a knowledgeable service technician that knows what they're doing. Used Photo Pro is very customer oriented and they have my highest recommendation for your money. So I'm going to close this video with a uh, slideshow of images that I've been able to capture with this used camera over the last couple years. If you're not a subscriber or you don't follow my channel, um, I think I'm always doing something interesting. So I'd like to see you here next time. Uh, you guys have a good one. See ya.